euthanized after being evaluated by veterinarians at Dove Lewis Animal Hospital. It is a sad ending for something that started with great hope for the motorists who stopped to help. We're at the freeway. There's so many cars. I'm just trying to get help and figure it out. That's the voice of Andrea Rubio, oh the first goodness. to pull over to help a stunned and injured black swan. It was about 6.30 Thursday morning along I-5 in Portland. KGW News photographer Eric Patterson was out covering traffic for our news at sunrise. He's been checking out the roadways for us. He's on I-5 heading south. When he happened this upon the, the situation. He uh, sent us a picture of earlier. Yeah, this is the same exact spot that Eric was at just a few That's minutes ago. I-5 southbound at the Lombard on-ramp to southbound I-5. Okay, and it looks like they're grabbing a An bird. emergency swan yeah. rescue. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea and two others managed to wrap the rare swan up and get it off the freeway safely. This is unusual to say the least. Black swans are not native to Oregon. In fact, they're from far away, Australia. So this one most certainly got here with some human help. At that point, I realized she had been taken. In 2019, a black swan was stolen from an animal sanctuary in Newburgh and was never recovered. And just last year, a black swan visited off and on at the Tualatin River National Wildlife Refuge complex. It hasn't been seen since December. Was this the same bird? They'll never know. But either way. Well, it's unfortunate because we never want to see wildlife get hit on roadsides. That's uh, never a pleasant thing. My car is in front of these two cars. I just came off the exit 304 and I saw that the bird wasn't moving, the black swan, and I got concerned, so I pulled over right away. Now this rare bird, rescued from the side of a busy freeway during the morning commute, and rushed to Dove Lewis by those who saved it. I don't think we would have been able to have done it, just one of us, so it was really great the three of us were there. High hopes from humans met with the reality of the situation once vets examined the magnificent creature. The black swan with its unknown past was euthanized for several reasons, starting with its physical health. And those other reasons were spelled out by ODFW, writing us to say, due to the non-native status of the swan, no apparent evidence of ownership, its poor prognosis, and an avian influenza risk, euthanasia was decided to be the best and most humane option for this bird. David, it is understandable, but it's too bad. Yeah.